have been a mess for months now. And he's laying it down, y'all. Secret ingredient for Sloppy Joe's. I think we're onto something here. I'm on a ladder today. Teamwork, making the dream work. And he said to get ready because we are heading to the hay film. Well, here we are, a new week. <laughs> um, we used a trailer yesterday for the first time and it did great, but we need to, we want to clean it out because who knows when the last time that the pad, um, the pads, what do you call them? Mats were pulled out. So this isn't something we'll do every time because it's, it's a chore. Let me tell you, those things are heavy and awkward and when they're wet, I mean, they're, they've got, they're wet and it's, um, it's lovely. So anyway, Austin's getting ready to work on this. She's going to power wash this and, um, we'll have that done. I'm going to the post office for the third time, trying to mail some stuff. It's really frustrating. They were supposed to be open on Saturday, but I drove all the way over there and they weren't. Anyway, so got to do that. Wesley's mowing. Lawrence is going to take the bait. No, not today. The baler's got to get fixed. Jimmy's going to help with that. they got to take it to him tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's going to cut hay. He's going to cut this little bit of hay at the end of the, our drive. And Johnson grass, Matua, whatever there is, weeds. <laughs> and um, that's what we're doing this week. That's what we're doing today to get started with this week. Been driving little D a little bit more. Yeah, come on, girl. Really need to start driving it more. Lay off my truck a little bit. This has a little better gas mileage. Well, it actually is about the same as the truck, but gas costs less than fuel, less than diesel. So anyway, I'm gonna try to clean it today. We also have a, we also have an almost 16 year old in our house, so it's Wesley's birthday week. I have been a mess for months now, so I don't expect this week to be any better. I don't know, I, I, I can't explain it really. If you're a mom, you know, that's, that's all I can say. It's something about the 16 has really hit me hard. I think because I, I can see how fast it's gone and then know how fast the next couple years are gonna go. And, our whole job as parents is to raise our children to be able to to leave one day. But when it actually comes down to that, it's hard to let them go, right? So many feelings. I'm willing myself not to cry and it's not working, but anyway, that's where we're, <laughs> that's where we're at. Hey boys, and it's actually a beautiful day, horsies. It's a beautiful day. It's cooler than it has been. We rode yesterday for the first time, well, two weeks. We, had, we hadn't been in two weeks. And um, it was hot, but it was good. We did a lot of roping practice. And um, you like that? That is, um, that is rat damage. <laughs> I'm sure some of you would be like, if I had rats in my car, I'd burn it down. No, you wouldn't. If you needed it, you wouldn't do that. You would just deal with the rat damage. Um, anyway, it would actually be a lovely day to ride, so who knows? I don't think that's going to happen because there's a lot on the agenda, but maybe this week we can get some riding time in. We're excited about Wesley's birthday weekend. We've got several things planned. The first and foremost is going to Raleigh to get his license. First thing Saturday morning, that is the plan. So, and then maybe meet my parents for brunch. And then we have a family get together um, the next day. So it's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be good. It is, we're gonna celebrate our sweet boy. Yeah. All right, there we go. We're starting out with a three minute ramble. You're welcome. Hey, if um, if one flag is good, two is better, right? And he's laying it down, y'all. In true Lawrence fashion.
fast, fast, fast. A lot of Johnson grass, which is fine. Alrighty, I'm back from the post office. I see washed mats. I see a washed out trailer. I guess that's just like stains. <laughs> that's good. Okay, lunch is delivered and I cleaned up some limbs. There's some big limbs. There's this huge oak tree. It's so pretty. But there were some really big limbs in the yard. So I, I took, I drove some to the woods, but it was quite a haul. So I ended up just putting them up under the tree. So at least he can mow. It's just taking him eight to 10 hours to do this. It's good. It's been good for him. So anyway, he doesn't want me to, he doesn't ever want me to show him mowing for some reason. But anyway, he's got water and a sandwich in his belly. And it is, um, it really is nice today. It is not near as hot as it has been. I really want to ride my horse. Maybe tonight, maybe, maybe an after supper ride. I think it would do my heart good. It's just a lot on it this week with everything going on. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Hey, it's all down here. I don't know, this might be kind of thick right here for a change. <laughs> hey boys. And he's done, I believe. And I'm here with some crackers and tea. Woo, yep. Last pass. That's all he asked for was nams and tea. Nams. We've had this conversation before. Pack o crackers. Nams. In the south we call them nams. Yeah. Any kind. These are these are grilled cheese captain's wafers, which are actually very yummy and kind of hard to find. So. Yeah. And tea. In a mason jar. Because everything's better in a mason jar. Hey y'all. Sorry, I'm eating. Back in the kitchen. Um, I wasn't going to video anything tonight because honestly just didn't feel like it. <laughs> and my mind is in a little bit of a... My mind is in a little bit of a place today. Um... But it's been busy. I've been busy. We've all been busy. Lawrence has been cutting hay all day. And then Wesley mowed all day. He just got in a little bit ago. And then Austin worked hard on the trailer. And she tried to put the mats in by herself. And she couldn't quite get them. They finished that up. I worked on the vehicles. And did a lot of power washing and vacuuming and cleaning. And washing here and... Um, it's just one of those days. I mean, dogs throwing up in the living room, all on my new rug, that kind of stuff, you know? It's life. It's what it is. Anyway, um, I wanted to make something quick and easy for supper, so I have not done Sloppy Joe's in forever, and I do not have a tried and true recipe that I follow. I usually just throw a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, I, I went online and I googled Sloppy Joe recipe, right? Because that's what we do when we want a recipe. We just Google it a lot of times, even though I have 8,000 cookbooks. Convenience, right? So anyway, the Pioneer Woman's recipe popped up and I'm like, well, that'll be good. So I just loosely followed it with what I had. I put some onion, I put some pepper, I sauteed all that together and then I put some ketchup and a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of Worcestershire, <laughs> what's this here sauce? and I don't know, some chili powder, a salt and pepper. I think that's about it. But then when it called for water, I was looking in the, oh, and some garlic, like real minced garlic. Um, I was looking in the refrigerator and I made a Coca-Cola cake. I made a Coca-Cola cake the other day. Those are like those old school, you know, just really good cakes. We had one at Aunt Betty's funeral and this is what, this is what's left. 
and mind you, I've only had one little piece. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to do better with my sweets. So anyway, I had to buy Coke to make that because Austin was like, Mom, please make one. So I did, and it was good. I didn't show you all that, but it was good. We'll do that again sometime. Um, but I had the Coke in the refrigerator, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pour this Coke in here instead of water. I'm not saying it like made it out of this world, but I'm saying this tastes really good and I'm just going to attribute it to the Coke. Okay. So there's your secret ingredient for sloppy Joe's that I bet nobody else has used. Tell me if you have, because I feel like I'm onto something. I might start putting that in chili if I have it. I don't ever have Coke because we don't drink soft drinks, but I think it would, because it's got that little bit of sweetness, right? I think, I think, I think we're on to something here. Okay. Who's excited? Are you excited? Are you going to try it? Try it. Again, just pour. Just, you know, just, just pour with love and just as much as you think is necessary. I didn't pour a whole cup because I didn't, I have a pound and a half of hamburger. Her recipe was like two and a half pounds. So anyway, there's that. Um, all right. Hopefully after supper, I'm going to round up my horse and go for a little soul filling ride. Let's go. Bonnie, are you going? Okay. We're not going to go far. Lawrence is up here doing something. He and Wesley. I don't know. He hooked up. Oh, he's got the little, he's got the little tractor with the sprayer on it. I'm not 100% sure what he's doing. I know they're going to move some minerals. He's got to move some things around. We got to figure out exactly where we're going to put the trailer, the new trailer. For now, we're going to put it where the... The cattle trailer that we've been using is we're going to move it. <laughs> um, ideally, the new trailer will go under shelter somewhere. <laughs> like he said the other day, he's like, we have all this land and we don't have enough room at all for all the things that need to be under shelter. But um, we might have to add something. We might have to add something. We've got another, an old stock trailer that he used for years and years that is in actually very good shape. Um, he needs to do one thing to the floor and then we're going to sell it and then that will free up it's under shelter and hopefully this one will fit under there we're not sure because of the air condition on top it's going to be tight so anyway <laughs> that's what we're trying to figure out we're trying to figure out what we're doing hey guys yeah we're going without you tonight sorry Austin was going to ride Little Doc, and then she remembered he still doesn't have a shoe. For practice yesterday, Lawrence wrapped it in duct tape. Uh, the farrier's not coming for like four more days, so you might get another week off there, Little Doc. He did great, though, even with ha not having been ridden. He did great, so it's a lovely evening, y'all. It feels really good. It really does. Oh man, I'm ready for fall and when it starts cooling off like this just a little bit, it gets um it gives me the bug even even more. Maybe he's spraying. Maybe that's what he's doing. He had some spray left in there. That must be what he's doing. Spraying it out. I gotta spray around the yard big time. The weeds have just come back in full force. We have a visitor. <laughs> She's out put putting around. She already went and what did you do? You fed the horses a little. Brush tank. Fed the gel the other geldings. Got you some food, Reppy. When you get done, when we get done, we've just been trotting up and down the the hay fields. <laughs> Dogs are happy. It's just so nice out here tonight. I just I can't get over how nice it is. Where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Do we need you to... I'm not giving them any food yet, honey. Were you going to give them food? Oh, gosh. Okay. Just a handful. Just a snack. Just a treat. You're going to get fed when I untack you. Oh, my goodness. Who's spoiled? 
They're so rotten. <laughs> kind of like that little dog right there. Just a little bit rotten. Just a little bit. <laughs> Bonnie, look, y'all, can you see her? Hold on. She's just sitting back there like, I'll just wait over here. Okay, y'all. We're on a ladder today. We need to get rid of that too. Just a reminder. We don't even use that anymore. Um, so I have really uh, got bit by the decluttering cleaning bug here. I don't know if it's just um, a means of my brain trying to like keep myself busy instead of like thinking about Austin, you scared me about all the other things going on, you know, with my son and all, and, and all the changes and stuff. So anyway, I, um, I have been doing so much this week, y'all. I've, I've taken up selling things on eBay and Marketplace. I sold a lot of old homeschool stuff that wasn't used, um, or teacher guides and stuff like that. You can, you can get that other green rag because there's some places here that's on the inside. Like this is all inside. Yeah, yeah, no, that's on the inside. Wipe it hard. Wipe it hard. You don't need it. Just wipe it with that to get the, the streaks off. What was that? So anyway, um, little teamwork, making the dream work. Yeah. So, um, y'all, I've sold like $350 worth of stuff. Isn't that funny? And I'm just going through my closet and selling shoes I haven't worn and belts. And, no, I haven't done, I need to do belts. Anyway, um, so I decided today I wanted to clean some windows and I just got, <laughs> this is a tedious task because these windows are 50, 50 ish years old and they're, um, they literally fall apart. They're falling apart when you try to clean them. So it's very, you have to be very careful. But anything is better than nothing at that this point. The only window cleaner I can use. Yes. <laughs> it's good. Huh? What's the camera right here when I'm parking? Yeah. <laughs> um, see what I'm talking about? See this? I mean, it's like you, you barely touch it and it just flakes off. We've been talking about getting new windows for 15 years, but that's kind of low on the list right now. Whoa. <laughs> oh, but we can clean them, you know, as good as we can anyway. Right here, see? Yeah, it helps having her on the inside because when you're on the inside, it looks like it's all on the outside. Then you come to the outside and it looks like it's all on the inside. <laughs> it's a thing. All right, I know y'all wanted to hang out with us washing windows, so I'm just kidding. I know you don't. Okay, I've been in the, um, I've been in the crib doing some work, doing some computer work on the treadmill, walking. I'm still loving that thing, y'all really am. It's just been, it's been great. I love it. Um, and I got called out a minute ago, Lawrence came, he was in and out, and he said to get ready, because we are heading to the hayfield this afternoon. We've got just a little bit behind Papa's that we're going to square bell. We need all of the square bells we can get. We need like 200 total, and we, I think we only got like 80 or something off that first run, and he said there's probably about 40 more, so we're just going to piecemeal this until we hopefully get what we need. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, so he said that was all that was dry. The rest of it was a bunch of crabgrass and it wasn't dry enough and wasn't ready yet. So we will see you next time in the hayfield. Okay, take good care.